Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm up close and personal today because I'm going to be using the Derminator on my skin. I have no makeup on and I've cleansed and I've sanitized and I am ready to do this. I actually did my first Derminator on my face about six weeks ago. I would have showed that one to you. I made it as a video, but I had a hair extension in that I was trying out and it, it looked like I had a squirrel on my head. It looked very, very weird. So I decided to redo that video. So this is actually the second Derminator treatment I've done on my face. So I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about it. And quite honestly, this is Father's Day. And tonight we're taking all the fathers in the family, 13 people total, out to dinner. And so I'm not going to be able to wear makeup today. So that's going to be really interesting, I have to say. And you will see that after I do the treatment that you definitely can tell that you did something to your face. I just really needed to do this over a weekend because you do need to go 24 hours without makeup after you do the Derminator. I discovered the Derminator machine on a wonderful channel, Beauty in the Bargain. I've got her picture above and I will link her channel below and her video specifically about her use of the Derminator. But she has an absolutely fabulous channel, Beauty in the Bargain. She is beautiful and she's always looking for ways to save us money on our beauty supplies, products, and procedures. This is a look at the Derminator machine and I'll be showing you exactly how to use it. In fact, I'll be doing the Derminator on my face in just a few moments. But before I get into that, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my knowledge about derma rolling. This is a little manual derma roller and it looks like a little torture device. It's a little plastic roller that has little quills on it and you use it all over your face or your arms, wherever you want to tighten up the skin. And derma rolling has been proven in scientific studies to do many good things. It reduces hyperpigmentation and it's been proven to help regrow hair on top of your head, which is a wonderful thing. But in terms of general anti-aging, there really aren't the studies there yet to support that. They would be very difficult to do because you'd have to have someone that would do derma rolling on one side and none on the other. And nobody really wants to go through that. But I did have a derma roller treatment at my dermatologist in Kansas City. In fact, they call it collagen induction therapy. And I asked her if she'd really seen good anti-aging results with the derma roller. And she said, absolutely. She said, without a doubt, it is a wonderful way to anti-age. And I specifically had her do the collagen induction therapy on me because of this Mohs incision that I'm still dealing with. The dermatologist really believes that derma rolling is wonderful on scars, which it has been proven to be. Derma rolling has lots of studies with it associated with decreasing hyperpigmentation, dealing with scars, especially acne scars. And in fact, I had a dermatologist do a derma pen treatment, a collagen induction therapy treatment on this incision here, and I felt like it really did show some good results. Derma rolling has also been proven to help with hair regrowth. There are studies to support it in all of those various areas. Now, in terms of general anti-aging, reducing fine lines and wrinkles, there really aren't the studies at this point to support that. And I think that's in part because it would be very difficult to do. You'd have to have people that would agree to have derma rolling on one side of their face and not the other. And those studies have just not been done at this point. However, when I asked my dermatologist in Kansas City about if she felt that derma rolling helped with general anti-aging, she said, absolutely yes. She said she has women that the befores and afters are just incredible. And she showed me a few and I'll show you a few here online. And as you can tell, it really does look like the derma roll is helping the texture of the skin and reducing fine lines and wrinkles. So it's been six weeks since my first treatment and I'm going to do my second treatment now. This is a look at the derma roller. It's a wonderful little system here. It costs less than $200 and this system is actually sold to estheticians offices and they actually charge you know about $200 to $300 per session for this. I think this is a wonderful option if you really want to get into derma rolling. One thing they claim is a big advantage to this system is that it does not cause micro tearing because when you're using a manual derma roller, it's subject to operator error. Like when you turn it, you could turn it and actually the little quills could tear your skin a little bit. But in this system, the needles go up and down and it's a little easier to control this. And so apparently it does not cause that micro tearing. Before I get into the actual Derminator session, I'll tell you what I did to prepare my skin. And cleanliness is very, very important when you're using any type of microneedling device. I wash my hands very well and then I also used alcohol on them. In fact, I'll do that again. And I also washed my face very well and followed that with alcohol. And this is totally optional, but I did use a lidocaine cream 
all over my face and neck about 20 minutes ago. That just helps reduce any kind of painful feelings you will have. And it is just a little bit uncomfortable, I would say, you know, having done this once, but I think the lidocaine cream really does help. And then I washed the lidocaine cream off after about 20 minutes because I did not want those needles to be pushing that cream into my skin. Okay, here is how the Derminator comes. And this is the little box of all the little additional tools. There are a bunch of heads in here with different numbers of needles. This particular pack has a head that has 12 needles on it. I am going to be using the nine needle head. And they even have a single needle head, which is apparently good for very fine scars, although I'm not going to try that. It also comes with a little bit of hyaluronic acid serum, which is good to put all over your face to give you some slip. So when the Derminator machine goes over your face, it slides easily and effortlessly. And the little heads that come with the Derminator are in medically sealed pouches that are very, very sanitary. And this one I've cut open so that I could get to it. So here's a look at the little head. The little nine needle head is right there inside this plastic casing here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that little head on, on the little machine just kind of screws on there. There it is, very good. What I'm going to be doing is I'll do one side of my face on camera and then I'll do the other off camera just to save time. So you start by turning on the machine and it has to warm up just for a minute. And then it says single needle, yes or no. And so we're gonna say no. Nine needles, yes. Then we're going to select the speed and they have slow, medium, and fast. And I'll go ahead and select fast. And then I'll select the depth. There's a 0.25, and then we'll do the 0.50. Okay, there, we got that all set up. And I'm going to go ahead and start on my forehead. I'll do this side because it's the one with the incision. And we just kind of do little circular motions. That's what the direction said, is just to do the little circular motions. And I'm getting some redness there. No, no pinpoint bleeding at this point. Definitely getting red. It doesn't really hurt. In fact, it doesn't hurt at all. It feels a little bit like maybe a little rubber band is going against your skin. Something like that. I'll go back over this area again. I'm happy I'm not getting the bleeding. <laughs> Since I'm going out for that dinner tonight, I'm going to look weird. There's no doubt about that. And you skip the nose. You don't do the nose. And then you come around here, around the crow's feet area, and I'm going to get very close in there to my eye. This actually is a scar. I uh, pulled an iron off the wall. I had an iron up on a rack in my closet, and I accidentally hit the cord, and it fell down. This was about three months ago. It fell down and hit me right beside my eye. I'm very lucky it didn't put my eye out. Thank goodness for small favors. But it did give me a little scar there, which actually looks like a deep crow's foot. <laughs> Now, I'm going over that incision area, and I'm pulling the skin taut to be able to do that. In fact, on the incision, I'm going to increase the needle depth. I'm going to give it a 0.75. I'm really going to work that over there. When I went to the dermatologist, she worked this thing like crazy. I left and was battered and bruised. <laughs> Ooh, and I did get some pinpoint bleeding there, but I think that's okay. Now I'm going to bring the depth down for the rest of my face again. And it goes up to 1.25. Actually to 1 1.50. 1.752. Oh my gosh. Two. Oh my gosh. It gets really deep. Let's go back to 50. So I'll go again under the eyes. We're just doing little circles. And again, it helps to hold the skin taut really does not hurt. I have to admit I was kind of dreading it though just because the 24 hours after you don't look very good and so I was dreading going through that process again.
and you do this intense germinator machine every four to six weeks. Actually, my um, dermatologist said every six weeks. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that, that line there. Get that a little harder. Go back up here. That didn't get very red. Might as well make it redder. They actually have a timer feature on this where you can enter the uh, approximate area in, in inches of the area you want to cover and the timer stays on for the appropriate amount of time. But I, I didn't I didn't want to do that on my face because I'd have to do each area separately. And I'm not into doing it really long. I just kind of want to get it accomplished. And you don't use this machine on lips. I use my manual dermal roller on my lips. It really does not hurt, ladies. I will go above the lip. There's one half of my face, and I'm going to go ahead and do this wattle area down here. But I'm going to increase the depth of the needle to 0.75. That doesn't really hurt. I don't like this wattle. I'd like to stop being a turkey down there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my face off camera. Now I'm finished with doing both sides of my face and I'm going to take the little head and I'm going to soak it in alcohol. I leave it there for about 10 minutes because with microneedling it's very important to be as sanitary as you can because you're basically puncturing your face hundreds of times so sanitation is very important. One thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to use the hyaluronic acid and having the hyaluronic acid on your skin does help lubricate and give a little more slip and slide so the Derminator goes in a little more smoothly. I should have done that. But since I didn't use it before, I'm going to go ahead and follow up with a little hyaluronic acid. Oh good, that feels just like water on my skin. It does not feel irritating at all, which is good. If it stung, I probably would not do it because I would think that would add to the irritation. So that is the results of my second Derminator treatment and I will be showing you a before and after in five or six months. It takes that long to see results. Using the Derminator is something that causes your collagen to regrow and it causes your skin to improve over time. It's not an automatic fix. But one thing I will do is that tomorrow morning, which would be about almost 24 hours later, I will show you how it's looking then. Good morning. It is about six o'clock in the morning on Monday morning and I've still got some pinpoint little blood spots here and I've got some up here I can't really see many more maybe a few more down in here because I really hit those areas especially the incision area and these line areas a little more but it looks pretty good my neck you can hardly see anything on my neck a few little dots down here in 24 hours they're right it pretty much looks fairly normal and I am going to go ahead and apply makeup. They said 24 hours but I think 21 is enough. So this gives you an idea of how the Derminator looks after 24 hours. Now if you're interested in procedures and general youthing activities then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell that will just send you emails of my future videos. Well I'll go ahead and give you a little thought for the day although it feels a little weird to be doing it with my face kind of messed up and with no makeup on but these are the Power Thought cards by Louise Hay. And so let's see what power thought we can think about today for a Monday. Let's get the week started out right. Okay, here's one. Oh, I like this. My healing is already in progress. My healing is already in progress. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. I love that part. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. Oh, I absolutely love that. And I really do think sometimes we get the love in our heart kind of bottled up, blocked up, and all we can feel is maybe anxiety or negativity and none of those wonderful love gifts that we're given when we feel grateful and we open the floodgates of love from our heart. And I really do think there's a healing energy of love. In fact, I think that's really the total energy of love in body, mind, and spirit. 
love is what heals us. So just for today, in whatever way you need to heal, let's let the love from your heart flow through you and go exactly to that area and heal that spot in your body, mind, or spirit. Let love heal today and every day, and we can have a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.